Hey guys, welcome back to Fat Mods. The last time we did an oil change on the BMW M3, this time we're gonna be changing out the grills and the halo headlights. We're gonna be going to these black grills. Unlike the factory, they have chrome all the way around them and then single grills here. These ones are double grill and no chrome. We're also gonna be changing out the halo bulbs to these LED bulbs, which will make the light go from a yellow to a nice white. For this, uh, for doing this job, we're gonna be needing a flat screwdriver and the number 30 Torx bit. So let's go to the car and start doing some work. Let's get started. Okay guys, so now we're here at the headlight. All you need is to, uh, the flat screwdriver, you put it in here, you pop the tabs up, it comes out, put it aside. There's the bulb inside, you're just gonna push your hand inside and turn it uh, to the right. So here we go. It's very tight inside, so just take your time and it will come out. There you go. So now we can remove it from the harness. There you go. So there's the bulb. And now we're gonna get one of the LEDs and put it in. Okay, here's the LED bulb. Now we're gonna put it in and this might be a little bit difficult. Let's see how long it takes me. Okay guys, I'm gonna get it in and then come right back. Okay, so after some fan dangling and some, you know, God knows what, jumping through hoops and back through the hoops, I finally got the light in. It's a very tight space, so now you can see the lights in, the ballast inside. We're gonna put the cap back on. And hope I never have to do that again. Nah, just kidding. It just takes a little bit of time and some effort. Now we're gonna be moving on to the front grill. So now we're gonna be taking out these uh, one, two, three, four Torx bit. Torx screws, I mean, with my Torx screwdriver. put these out of the way so I don't lose them and then I'll come back start removing the grill okay so now we're just gonna pull back on the bumper and now you can see the clips right there the six clips one two three and the same thing at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and pop them out I'm gonna need both both hands for this this is where your flat screwdriver will also come in handy to squeeze the tab down See, the top is loose. Now we just have to do the bottom. And there you go. Now we're going, we can compare them to the, to the aftermarket and see what they look like. Okay, here's a comparison between the factory and the aftermarket. No chrome, looks a lot better. Let's install this on the car and see what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and clip it in. Here we go. And this mother. Is there... This doesn't fucking fit. <laughs> That's what you're kidding, right? You're gonna. Okay guys, uh, guess what? This is a big disappointment. This shit doesn't fit. Look at it. There you go, it does not fit at all. I don't know who the hell makes this shit, but ordered one for E90 M3, and this is what you get. So much for quality control. Well, I guess we'll be putting back this factory grill in. We're just gonna finish off the headlights show you what it looks like and then we're gonna have to try and get new grills oh man here we go well guys i 
as you can see, as beautiful as these grills are, they don't fit. Quality control, it is very important. Obviously, this company knows nothing about quality control. The headlights, they fit, they work great, they look great. These look good, but they're no use to me. So now I'm gonna have to go through all the trouble of returning these things and trying to get the proper one, which you know sometimes is a headache. It's gonna take a while for shipping and all the mumbo jumbo back and forth, emails back and forth. I hope it's not too hard getting the proper grill because man, they would look so good on this car. Well, that's the end of this video guys. Um, sorry for the disappointment. When the new one comes in, we'll install it, you'll get to see it. But as for now, it's the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks a lot. Laters.